What's good? What's good? What's good, man? We're in the building. We're in the building. Y'all know what time is. Hit that like button. We got a good one today, like always. Welcome to the day room, man. Welcome to the day room. As should I say, the virtual free world day room. The one and only. You can't get this nowhere else, man. Y'all make sure y'all hit that like button, man. Don't come in my house without hitting that like button, man. Without hitting that like button, man. Hope y'all had a good day today, man. Guess what? It's almost the end of the week, man. For some people, tomorrow is the end of the week, man. For some people... As CEO Hockley say, it's Monday, number four, man. For me, shit, it's almost end of the week. Like I said, y'all remember to hit that like button, man. Hit that like button. Hit that like button, man. Y'all come on in here, man. B there or B square, man. It don't matter how you get there. By plane, bus, or train, hit that like button. <laughs> yeah, y'all hit that like button, man. That's for real, man. This is one and only day room, man. Can't get this nowhere else, man. No, you can't get nowhere else, man. Some try to duplicate it, but it never worked out. Yep, some try to duplicate it, but it never worked out. And that's for real. Oh, and by the way, man, y'all make sure y'all share this. Y'all share this. Y'all share this 100% authentic uh, content. Like I said, you can't get it nowhere else. Can't get it nowhere else, man. Where you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth. And that's for real. What's good? What's good, man? Welcome once again, man, to the Ferguson Chronicle, man. We'll keep it 110 all the way across, man. Well, nothing is ever scripted, man. Y'all know what time it is, man. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. And make sure y'all share this, man. We got a good one today as always, man. A real special one always, like I said. And what we're going to do, what we do, we're going to keep it authentic like we always do, man. Today in studio, man, we're going to interview, man, an uh, individual by the name of T-Boy, man. Never met him, but I tell you what, his story is no different than the next man's story that have done time in prison, right? We already know, man, 
Anytime you do time in prison, man, it's expensive pain, man. And he gonna be here to share his story, man. And guess what? He gonna bring along an individual that's related to him, as we all know by the name of Mr. C.O. Hockley, AKA Crip Knight. Both of those people will be joining us, man, shortly. But in the meantime, in between time, y'all do what need to be done, man. Hit that like button and do what we always do, man. As we sit back, we go down through there of another great story, man. Another great story, man. And like I always say, man, you can't get that nowhere else but here at the Ferguson Chronicle, man. The people's channel. Because without the people, it wouldn't be no channel. For those that just not tapping in, I appreciate you for tapping in. And uh, if you haven't already subscribed to OG Hollywood or CEO Hockey, man, go and subscribe to those two channels. Why? Because you're going to get numbered authentic content. I can't speak for the rest of the internet. There's no way I can do that. But I can speak for this right here. It's where many of people have came and told their stories, and guess what? Go on, and it's gonna continue to go on. However, many families have been informed of what people have been through on this particular channel, man. For those people that you've only heard about, we brought them to life at the Ferguson Chronicle, man. And that's just what we do. And we're not gonna change it. It's gonna always stay the same. Like I said, you have many channels that give their spiel as far as from a prison genre. And I salute them. But you can't get it like this here at the Ferguson Chronicle. Where we bring those that you've never ever seen, but only to be able to hear about. We bring those people to life. Some say characters, I say individuals with unique stories and telling their time spent in any institution, whether it be the Texas Department of Criminal Justice, the federal system, it doesn't matter. It's all part of an institution. And they came here to tell their story. And guess what? Today is no different, man. Like I said, uh, I've never met Mr. T. War, but we got his story here today on the Ferguson Chronicle. And like we all, I, I always say this, man, it's nothing more than documentation. You know, I like to call it documentation. Some people like to really call it content. But what we do, man, we just like to document it so people's stories can live forever. That in which what you see on the Ferguson Chronicle, you can look at it years later. You can look at it years later and you can look at a person's growth. That's what this is about, man. We like to show growth and improvement in an individual, whether it be female or male. We like to show growth and we like to beat the odds, man. That's what it's really about. You want to beat the odds of the people. Because for those that didn't know, the minute you let free out of any institution, people are betting against you. In other words, what I mean by they betting against you is they betting you will come back. They betting you will become uh, another statistic. They bet, they, they bet against you that you would go for round number two. And some do, some do. But most men that have graded the screen of the first from Chronicle have been out a substantial amount of time, man. Me, myself, me, myself, has been out 10 years, along with a host of others. Namely, Mr. CEO Hockley has been out 20 years or plus. That's what it's about. It's not about getting free. 
because everybody has a date to be set free. But who stays free, though? That's the number one thing. Who stays free in society? And that's what we want to do here, man. We want people to stay free, man, and understand that freedom is the most precious thing in the world, man. Once it's given to you, don't give it back. Because like I said, they are betting against you that you come back. At any time and point that you're free, if you give your life back to the system, man, you're pretty much done with, especially if you get out at an older age. If you get out at an older age and you get a, a big sentence, you're pretty much done with. There's nothing you can do to reverse that if you go back to prison, man. Like I said, uh, for those that just now joined the channel, for those that had first time laying eyes on the channel, I appreciate you for coming here tonight to, uh, to join the day room, man. Day room, like I said, was created, man, so people can watch other people's growth, man. This is a growth channel, man. This is a growth channel. It's not a prison channel where people come here and uh, are ashamed of telling what they've been through. Because like I always say, you can't save the world. It's no way impossible that you can save the world. But what you can do, you can educate people that think it's a game. In other words, what I mean by thinking it's a game, thinking that if you commit a crime, you ain't going to do the time. In today's society, man, it's no getting away. Simple as that. It's no getting away. It's too many cameras to tell you where you was, when you was there, and how you got there. So all we try to do here, man, is demonstrate, man, that freedom is the most priceless thing in the world, man. And that's facts. It's the most priceless thing in the world. You know, from the time it's given to you, from the time it's taken away from you. But in some cases, man, me and a host of other people was responsible for taking their freedom, man, only to get it rewarded back on a certain particular day. What's good, CEO? I see you in the building, man. CEO in the building, man. What's good, man? Hold on, let me fix the audio. Mr. Fuck up the audio himself. Mike check one two one two man, Mr. Fuck up the audio in the building, man. Mike check. Can I get a mic check? Can they hear me now? Put a one in the chat if you can hear me. You sound like Verizon Wireless. Can you hear me now? Put a one in the chat if you can hear me, man. I'm in the goddamn building, man. What's good, OG Hollywood? What's up, chat? It's all good, man. It's all good, man. The people say they hear you loud and clear. Loud and clear. Shout out real quick, man. Shout out to Texas Prison Stories and Tim Snow, man. We um, we broadcasting over there on Texas Prison Stories. Shout out to the audience that's watching from the Texas Prison Stories channel tonight. You know, the homie Tim Snow showing us some love, man. G County is definitely in the building. G County definitely representing, man. Um, talk to me, OG. What's good, man? Like I was introducing to the people, man, you know. We got T. Ward in the building, man. And this one here is uh, kind of touching home. Why? Because he's a relative of yours, man. Normally we bring people on, man, that we take their stories, right? Right. And, you know, we brought several Z kind of people on. You know, some people right. here, some people not there, right? But uh, that's another story. Today, we bring Mr. T. Ward in the building, man. T. Ward is here to tell his story, man. And, uh, I want to second what CEO Harkness said, man. Shout out to Tim Snow and the Texas Prison Story, man, for showing us some love on his channel, man. And that's real. Matter of fact, most people don't do that. 
So a big shout out to Tim Snow, man, and Texas Pearl Story, man. And uh, I hope y'all enjoy this just as much as we enjoy bringing it to y'all, man. Like I said, uh, this is the one and only Ferguson Chronicle, man. Where we bring those people to the channel that you only hear about. Where we bring those stories to the channel that you can only get here. You can't get this nowhere else. You can't go to another channel where you have a man saying that he's been incarcerated for over 25 years. You can't get that nowhere else and be here and live to tell about it. You can only hear about it, a man getting a life sentence and doing 25 flat. But when you come here, you get me and I'm able to tell you the ins and outs of prison when it was real. Not to take nothing away from the prison now because any prison, you can get the same thing if you're looking for the same thing. But it's highly unlikely you'll get the physical abuse uh, of prison when I was in there. Let me reiterate, not to take away from prison now because prison is prison. And the most toughest thing in prison is trying to get out. It's not the fight that you had with the man that stays next door to you or the man that enters the day room. It's the fight when you serve a lot of time and you're trying to get out. That's the biggest fight of all. So if anybody ever had a question about what was the toughest fight, that's the toughest fight of a man that's in prison trying to break free. And once you get out, the real fight starts then. And that's staying out, man. That's staying out. So welcome to the show, man. Yeah, man, we here, man. Shout out to the people that's in the building, man. You already know. It's your boy, CEO Hockley, is OG Hollywood, man. That's what we do every Wednesday. Normally, it's a Wednesday. Today, it's a Thursday, man. It's a special show. I need to pull up the questions, man. That's what I need to pull up, and we're going to bring T-Ward up. Y'all already know, man. Listen, we got another thing OG Hollywood ain't tell y'all. Yeah, when you're dealing with some cats that been to prison, internet technology be kicking our ass. So as smooth as this shit look, behind the scenes, we getting our ass kicked. <laughs> yeah, he ain't tell y'all that. Goddamn internet undefeated. Do you understand what I'm telling y'all? This internet be kicking our ass straight up. Yeah, man, you know, uh, like I said, man, we... we do what we call new boots on the internet, man. That's the same thing they call you when you first enter the, enter the doors of any institution you enter, man. You a new boot, man. So we're a new boot on YouTube, man. But we here to stay, though. I will say that. I will say that. We here to stay. Yep. And that's for real. So, man, like I said, man, uh, or like you just said, you got them questions on your end? Man, I got the questions. Pull them up. I guess I'm finna email them to you, right? Yeah. So, so you could pull them right up on your email, right? Yeah. And then we could we, we could just go from there. That way, that way it runs smooth. Um. That way it runs smooth and runs the way it needs to run. There right. go. You uh, see, 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 see if you got the email. For those that watch it, man, all this shit is in live time, man. Like I just told y'all, ain't none of this shit scripted. This shit is in live time. Yeah. Facts, man. So we rolling, man. Just that quick. Yeah, uh, we finna bring Thomas up, man. Listen, it, it's gonna go out. Y'all gonna get some technical difficulties, you know, as we go through it. But y'all try to get through it. So we finna get it rolling. See if you got that email, so we can get the show rolling. Yeah, I'm tired of wrestling, man. I'm out of my. my I'm out. They even tap me out. I'm tapped out. Yeah, I'm, I'm tapped out. Oh uh, man! <laughs> yeah, I'm tapped out, man. Let's let's rock and roll. I'm ready. Let's go, man. 
Did, did, did you get the email? I just told you that everything is a go. All right. All right, we're going to bring up T Ward, man. Let's do this here. What's up? What's up, T Ward? You got to drop your what's phone. Up, what's down. up, fam? Put No, put your phone what's down. Up, fam? Right there. Look at there. That, that technology kicking the nigga ass. What's good? What's up, man? I'm here. I'm here. All I'm right, here, man. That's tell the people what's put going a one on? in the chat if y'all can hear Thomas. Put a one in the chat. Y'all yeah, put a one up, man. Put your ones up. What's put up, man? One in the chat if you can hear him. Yeah, put one is. in the chat, man. There you go. Yeah. All right. All right. You good. You good, man. They say you can hear him. First off, man. I want to introduce you to OG Hollywood. OG Hollywood, this is my kinfolk, Thomas Ward, man. It's all What's up, Hollywood? Oh, man, welcome to the Free Society, man, after 18 flat. Oh, man, man. tell me about it. No, you going to tell us about it. <laughs> I'm sure <laughs> ready. Yeah, man. I'm ready, gonna, man. We're going we to we we run down through there, man. We're going we gonna to get to these topics, man. Let's do this here. Hold up. Let's get um, it. The first topic is this. I mean, the first question is here, man. Tell the viewers where you from and what led you to prison to begin with, man. Man, I'm from Galveston, Texas, man. Born and raised. And, man, uh, grew up and uh, ran the streets. Got into the streets, man. Got into a bunch of things that went the wrong route. And, uh, but the wrong things just happened, man. And uh I end up uh doing a robbery and ended up with 18 years. I mean 35 years, man. Did 18 flat years, man. And made it back home. Thank God. With all the grace of God, I'm back, man. I'm back. Right. Yeah. It, it, yeah, it what, just what it just been it's been a, you know how we all come up as youngsters, man. You know, everybody choose their route. And choose which route they want to uh, go, you know. A lot of people had influence on us, you know. No father figures in our lives, you know what I mean? We was just, we was just loose. We was just running, trying to figure it out, you know what I'm saying? We seen this and we wanted that, you know. But at the same time, at the end of the day, you know, uh, it's all a blessing because when you look at it, man, I don't look at my time as I done as a bad thing. I look at it as one of my greatest assets. You know, everything we've been through is our greatest asset, man. So, you know, it's time to utilize everything that I use. I mean, everything that I learned down there and put it in application now. And that's a must. All right. All yeah. right. R real quick. Tell the people what year you went in and, and when you got out. Because when you say 18 years, the people watching, you got over 92 people in here watching, right? When you say 18 years, Put it in context with them. When did you go in and when did you get out? I went in January of 2006, man, and I just got out March 14th, 2024. 18 flat. 14 days ago. So you got out 14, 14 days, days ago. ago, man. I'm, fre <laughs> I'm fresh in some french fries from McDonald's, man. I have to, I to skill it. Yeah. Uh, Basket of fries. All right, OG, your shot, man. So let me ask you this here, man, because I know you said you went in, right? Yes, but, sir. But you never ever tell us, you know, tell us what unit you arrived to, right? And it's the reason why I'm asking you that. You know, normally we, you know, this is asking details of certain units. So when you went in, what unit did you go to? Well, you know how you go when you catch the chain from the county, right? You go through transit first. And all of all the people that have been locked up, you know what I'm saying, know about this. When you're going through transit, guards of West, and they ship you to diagnostic units and two weeks here, two weeks there. You know, I went through that process. And then, but at the end of the day, after I went through that process, going through uh, a couple of units, I landed on the wind unit in Huntsville, man. And that's why I did my 18 at, man. So do me a favor, T War. Uh all right, shoot. Describe to me and the viewers what it was like for you to arrive at the back gate of the wind unit. 
uh, versus arriving in the county jail. What was your thought process once you arrived at the back gate? Uh, and it, all of us gonna have different descriptions on what it was like for us as people to arrive at any back gate in the Texas Department of Crim Criminal Justice. What was your thoughts? What was going through your mind when you arrived there? Well, well, one thing was going through my mind was, man, first of all, man, it's like, I, you know, I got my time and, you know, uh, you, you, you know what you finna face. You know, you, I, I know, I know I got to do 17, 18 years. Right. So I know I'm finna go into a place that I'm not familiar with. Right. Don't know how nothing operating. So I'm going in with several people. You know what I'm saying? You're going in not knowing what to expect. You know, you're going in with your, with your, with your guards up, you know, you, you don't know how to, um, uh, navigate through this prison then you know you go in but for me pulling up man it was like it was like a different chapter it was like a different chapter you know it's like now i'm going to a whole nother dimension of all the walks of life and uh i gotta go deal with this you know what i'm saying so that, that was my mindset going in yeah Right. Okay. Let, let me ask you this. How how did your first day, how did your first day or your first week go pulling up to the wind unit for the first time to do your um what end up being 18 years on a 35 year sentence? How did the first go? How, how did the first day or the first week go? And did you have any run in with inmates or officers? Well, basically, uh you know how when you first enter a unit, and all, 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 all my G's out there know what I'm talking about. When you first enter a unit, you're going to run into somebody from where you're from. Or the word going to get out to where you're from. You know, like, hey, yo, man, somebody from G-Time, you know, T-Ward, T-Ward here, you know what I'm saying? So it was a lot of love show, man, when I walked in because it was a couple of brothers that I knew was on the unit, you know what I'm saying? But at the same time, uh. You know, you got people stalking you. You know, you got people trying to size you up. You got people trying to see who you is. You know how they go. Right. So, I mean, how did it go? Did somebody approach you? Did, you know, I mean, did you have any run-ins or, or anything like that? Did anybody test your gangster? You know what I'm saying? At any point in time, once you got well, on that well, wing. Well, 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 you know, you know, I'm a hooper too, right? Everybody know that. So, you know, that's why all my fights came in on the basketball court, man. You know what I'm saying? And right. uh, so, you know, uh, that's really where, where, where my fights came in at, on the basketball court. But because when I went in, it really wasn't a test, you know what I'm saying? Nobody like that, you know. You, scuffles in the day room, you know, getting into it with niggas, you know. What I'm? But, right. hey, at the end of the day, that's where, all my, that's where all my trouble came from on that basketball court. Right, yeah, we got many troubles on that basketball court. Hollywood kicked many balls over the fence. <laughs> yeah, hey, was they, was, hey, was they still doing that? Was they kicking yeah, balls? Yeah, man. Fence? So, <laughs> <laughs> well, we had a big gym over there, man. So it, it, it wasn't kicking the ball over the fence. It, it, it was, it was basically, you know, what I'm saying, throwing the ball up in the in the uh thing on the and bench the up there where you can't get it. You know, it going on top yeah, of the yeah. AC unit. Yeah, yeah that type of thing. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And I know some of my I, I know some of my listeners, man, know what I'm talking about. They out there, they know what I'm talking about. Yeah, and y'all, y'all, y'all been down, y'all know what it is. Right. So, so let me ask you this, man. Because we know, it's like you said, they know, right? And uh for those that, in other words, what he's saying, once that ball go up in the rapture, that's just like the bell getting rung in the ring. In other words, in other that's words, that's right. That's right. In other words, it's, it's what you, hey, <laughs> yeah, and you and, and you better have something when you throw that ball up there. You hear me? And, hey, and, and, and even if you ain't got it, because it's gonna be more than the nigga that you because <laughs> we all know how valuable wreck time is, and yeah, it's gonna right. be more than the nigga that you mad at kicking that ball up there. You feel me? It ain't no doubt. <laughs> Back. You know that red time valuable, man. Huh? Oh man. That red time the truth. 
Don't bring no memories back, man. Let that shit stay dead, man. Let that... Yeah, <laughs> man. You, I, 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 it, 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 it's necessary. It got to be brought back. Cause, cause that 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 always motherfucking that 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 always that that always round thing. Once you kick it in the, over the fence or throw it up in the rafters, you better have your motherfucking mouthpiece in your back pocket. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's right. That's right. And like I told you. Hey, it's gonna be more than it's gonna be more than the person you mad when you kick that ball at, right? Because yeah. now you done took everybody wreck time. Now, yeah, now you, you in some problems. Now you, you know what I'm saying? Everybody next, the, the, the nigga that had next up, he want to fight everybody else. Now, yeah, I, I, done, I done been down there. And don't yeah. let the ball don't let the balls be limited. <laughs> don't let it be one ball. It's sure open to be a problem. You feel me? And then yeah. And and on some units when you kick it up there, you know they got the nails up there, so you go you you might bust it and the whole wreck is over with. So now only thing open now is the handball court. And most blacks don't play no handball. You know nah. what I mean? Nah, everybody, nah. Nah, everybody, man. Don't, everybody don't lift weights. So, you know. Yeah, we're gonna lift weights, we're gonna play basketball, and we're gonna dib and dab in a little ping pong, man. <laughs> yeah. Yo, yo, shot OG. So man, do me a favor, man. We all had this, right? Some of us have had good days. Some of us have had bad days. And we all got one memory that stuck out to us while we was in prison. And I call it, what was your worst day in prison out of your 18 years? Man, my worst day, man, was when, my, when I got the news that my brother was dead and... That, that that was my worst day of my 18 years, man. You know, me and my brother Bodine was close. Rest in peace, Bo. I'm here. I'm on ground for you, boy. And I got your kids. Uh, but man, I was broken. I was broken. Right. Access. Yeah, yeah, I'm quick. talking about. It, yeah. Tell us. I was. I was so broken. You, you know, when I got the know. news. Yeah, tell us tell, tell us how you got through that because most listeners don't understand when we in those situations and the stuff we going through yeah. and it ain't much help. But what what was some of the things or some of the people that got you through that when you entered? Because you are already in a dark place by being in prison. Then you get news of kid folk, yeah. you know, and, and send you to a darker place. What helped you come out of that? You know that that dark area. Get get the people. You know, so they can know and kind of understand. Man, prayer. Prayer, man. Prayer helped me get through it, man. You know, it was a lot of people came to me, man, but it's it's something that you'll never get over, but you gotta you gotta move forward and get past it. You know what I'm saying? Because you'll never get over it. You know, uh so I had to lift myself up, you know, because I can't get him back, you know what I'm saying? So I had to keep on moving forward, man, slowly, man. I had to heal. You know, you got to heal yourself, man. When, when something like that happened, you got to heal. And I was at the point to where I was about to come up for parole. You know what I mean? So that was that was, that was was another blow. Like, like, damn, man. You know what I'm saying? You done rode all this ride with me, man, and then he gone. So, you know, uh... The healing process of it, man. Praying, man, and, and and moving forward, man. Putting God first, man. You know, and and, and that's that's what got me through it, man. That's what right. really got me through it. A couple of brothers helped me out, man. Came, you know, you know, we prayed, you know, we did that thing, you know. Uh, and I and I believe, you know, I believe God do all things for a reason, you know. Uh, but it was a lesson learned to me, man. That 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 life's real. Life's real, man. Right. I'm a, um I'm a, I'm gonna ask you this, man. You know, shout out to Ken Folk, man. Hollywood, we going we going to skip number 6, right? Yeah. And, and I'm a, uh okay, we going to skip 6 and 8. We probably we going to jump back in at 9 after this question, right? Yeah. All right, T War. So so here we are, man. You already in here. You didn't experience a very bad day, right? Let's talk about 
some of the things you was doing in prison right. in, your, in your 18 years, right? Can you hear me? Can you yeah. hear me, T. Ward? Yeah, I can hear you. All right. Let, well, yeah, let's talk, let's man, talk about You know when you first get there, you're trying to... Yeah, I can hear you. Okay. I can hear you. Okay, let's talk about your first... I mean, not your first 18 years, but let's talk about some of the things that you picked up, some of the good things well, that you... You ready? Heard. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, man, uh... Yeah, the internet is internet messing up. Well, well, man, once I once once I did, and you know, when you get to prison, you know, you 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 figuring out everything, you're navigating and analyzing and watching everything, and you know, I knew I had a long stretch, so you know, I started dibbling and dabbling into dibbling and dabbling into into selling into selling things up in there. You know, I had a phone. And and, and, and and you know you know we already know where all that go you know what I'm saying then I got uh got in some trouble went to close custody man and I made up my mind man sitting in that cell 22 hours a day that man this ain't it you know what I'm saying so I so I so I wrote down myself a bunch of goals to to achieve and uh I had my mind made up once I come out of here I ain't looking back. So when I got out, I start attacking my goals. I I enrolled in college, right? I enrolled in college, man, and I pursued my business management degree. Check, I got that. Uh, then I start. It's like it's like when I start helping myself, it's like the doors start opening for me. Like people start helping me from everywhere. You know what I'm saying? By the grace of God, it's like it's like when you start helping yourself. People gonna start helping you, man. And and I end up getting into the craft shop. I'm talking about something that took me 15 years, man. That's like a boycott type thing. And then in prison, you know how they go. Y'all know how they go get in that craft shop. Hey, so it was amazing how that happened. Hey, especially black folks. Say that's how yeah, yeah. they I'm how about, they were keeping you the craft shop. Now everybody, everybody know watching, no maintenance, craft shop. 95% white boys, man. They, they, they 95%, man. You know what I'm saying? And it's like a union, man. It's hard to get in there. You got to know somebody. But right. yeah, man, but I got in there, man. I started drawing, man. You know, and, and I, I was in the day room and one of my partners had a, a drawing book and I just asked him to let me see the book. So when he, he let me see the book, he let me take it in. So, you know, I had a whole bunch of Mexican sellies that know how to draw. So after that, once once I learned once once he let me see the book, I went in and just so happened, man, we went on lockdown that Monday, and I had the book. So I drew a picture out the book, and that's when my art life took off, man. That's when that's when I started navigating the art world. I started navigating the art world, man. I got up in that craft shop, and I taught myself how to I taught myself how to airbrush. Taught myself how to paint. And you know, as the years went by, progressing, everything was happening good for me, man. And I never thought in my whole 18 flat years that them people would let you make money off them. I started doing contracts with these people, man. I started doing contracts with these people, man. I'm talking about selling paintings, selling, you know, selling airbrush pictures. You know what I'm saying? I was I was making money, man. I was making money, you know, as you can right. see. And then I started all painting. I fell in love with painting because it's very therapeutic for me, you know, and right. that's why I love all painting, you know what I'm saying? Because now, it's now, very now, therapeutic. Now, hold on. And that's another thing that helped me get through my. You you straight out the streets. Go ahead. You, you thug it and mug it, running around with pistols and guns. And now all of a sudden you realize you could use an art brush. Can you hear me? Right. Yeah, you and, and so that's what you got behind Realize you. Realize I can use a bar brush, you. man. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's one of my paints, man. As you can see, man. That's my that's that's the George Floyd, man, facing the globe, man. That's a creation, that's a war nation creation, man. Face inside the globe, man. 
Symbolic, man. Worth a lot of money. That's a lot of money y'all looking at right there, man. That's a lot of money, man. And it's going on sale. It's going to be auctioned off, man. So y'all look for that, man. Yeah. Right. Yeah, so, and, that, and, that, and that, that's, that's how I roll. I got up in there and I started doing things like that, man. Making money. Staying, staying, staying busy. You know what I'm saying? Then I enrolled in my microcomputer applications class. After that, I just kept myself busy, man. And I found good things happening for me. God started to move. So, so right. let me, let, let me God started to move for me, Hollywood, you know. And, yeah. and things just went to rolling, man. So, you know, I stayed focused after that. And I was checking off them goals on my list. I was checking off these goals on my list. I was reading the newspaper. And I read a story from this uh, Angela Wilson. I know a lot of y'all know Angela Wilson and worked at uh, the Galveston Daily News for the hot ticket. And I read her story about her struggle and what she was going through to 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 stay in college and and, and graduate. Go ahead, Hollywood. So let me like CEO said. I'm listening. Man, yeah, like CEO said. You went from being in, in one you hear me? Yeah, I hear you. I hear you. Yo, your internet is lagging. You hear me? Yeah, I hear you. I hear you good. You can you hear me, Hollywood? Yeah, I hear you. You can hear me, right? Y'all still on? Yeah. Can you hear me? Once again, I keep telling y'all the, the, big, the biggest challenge, challenge of any person that has been incarcerated, man, is the modern day technology, man. Uh, it will whoop your ass, <laughs> as you can see. Now, uh, better yet, what I'm saying, man, once you've been released from prison, man, this is the thing that you have to get accustomed to, man, which is the technology in society, man. Uh, nevertheless, you know, this is the struggle, man. That's why I say this is the beauty of this channel right here, man. Why? Because it shows the growth and the struggle of, of any one person, man. Of any one person that shows the growth, man. We can bring him back six months from now and uh shit, he'll be the master of this shit. Yeah, he finna, he, finna, he finna tap back in through the phone, but um I think it's dope, man, in his story that you know he learned he learned how to draw and drawing is something, you know, it's like uh, ima uh, imagine if he had learned that earlier in life, right? Uh, imagine yeah. if, if, if he was rewarded for drawing when he was a teenager or something like that, if, if, uh, or if he was introduced to that earlier in life, you know? I mean, again, man, God put us in these situations. He put us in these predicaments so we could... Um, Discover ourselves. I told you all the time, Hollywood. I don't credit prison for shit. Prison right. ain't done nothing for me. The only thing that prison did for me was that it introduced me to myself. Right? It showed me who I was. At, at one point in time, I thought I didn't eat llama beans. So <laughs> 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 I, I was in solitary and I was starving. And them goddamn llama beans tasted like steak and gravy. I said, God damn, I ain't know I like llama. I ain't know broccoli was good. So all I had to eat was broccoli. Man, you know, I, I look I look at it like this, man. As, as people of color, man, growing up in a oppressed area, right? Right. We only look up to a situation and the people that's around us, right? If you put us around artists, you know what I'm saying? Then we feel like we can become artists, right? Right. But see, if I'm on the corner and the person I look like is on the corner, and that's all we know is the corner. You right. know? Exactly, man. You said you said that right, man. If we was around, you know, 90% of our learning comes from my environment, right? So this whole time, Thomas is my older cousin. This whole time, he was an artist. The whole time he had the ability to not only draw, but bring images from his mind to life. But shit, 
I saw him cooking out the pot. Do you hear what I'm saying, sir? <laughs> we, we got down me getting it off the stove. Why? Because that's that that's what we are around. That's how our environment influenced us. So hold on. I think he back. I think he back. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. What's up, T Ward? T Ward, can you hear me? He fight, man. He can you fight. hear me? He, yeah, he fight, man, and I, and that's why I tell people, a couple of months from now he gonna have that master. But this is the transformation you gotta go through, you know, in the growth, so you can come back months from now and see, uh, where you were now versus where you were. Yeah, I, I told him, I told him just do it from his phone, but man, he got, he got, he got some dope pictures. He got some dope drawings and you know some of the first things we gonna do with him man i'm setting up because like you just said it's about who you around right yeah. and who you surround yourself with so today i was able to set up with an art gallery on the strand to get thomas and his drawings inside this gallery so one of the first things he gonna do is he gonna do his first art show after 18 years in prison he gonna he gonna display some of his art from prison and he gonna display his first drawing or his first painting he did since he'd been home so um yeah i was able to arrange and set up him having an art gallery i i don't know nothing about art now i'm gonna tell you i ain't going there and learn to draw do you understand what i'm saying i i i i didn't learn to draw but i did goddamn me learn to write and i learned to read when i was in prison and you know so we going to set them up and get people to come out for his first showing, which is going to be an art, you know, it, it, it's art gallery. Hold on. Yeah, he's still lagging. He, hey, uh, what's up, man? Yeah, just, just stay on your phone, man. I think your phone will hold the internet longer, man. Can, can you hear me? Yeah, what's up, man? I'm back, man. I'm sorry for the technical difficulties. No, it's all good. The technical difficulties is good because this is a growth. This is a, this is a growth channel, man. We want to see people grow. Move, move the channel. Move it over some. That there you go. Move it over some more. Can can you see yourself on the screen? Yeah, you want to put now? Nah, put it in front of you. Yeah. Move it over some more. Can you see yourself? There you go. There Damn, go. there you go. Right there. Yeah. There he yeah. is. 18. Man, goddamn, you look like you 17. Yeah, look at man. That. Say, 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 say. Hollywood. He fresh out that town. Hey, y'all, y'all know. Yeah, he, he fresh out that time machine. Can you hear? I'm us? trying to get this thing right, man. You know what I'm saying? Just hold it. Can you hear us? Uh, yeah, I can hear y'all. <laughs> that's 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 what we're looking for, man. Yeah. But like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah but, like, but that's the beauty of it, man. You don't suppose to know how to do that. Yeah, you don't suppose to know how to do that. Yeah, he been he been he been home that's fourteen. Right. He been home fourteen that's days. Right, man. Hey, listen, real quick, while we got you back, you came home fourteen days ago after doing eighteen years, man. What's up? What are some of the biggest challenges? Because people are looking and watching. They got people that's coming right, home, right. right? Can you hear me? Can can you hear me? Yeah, the big yeah, I can hear you. Okay. You got some people who have loved ones that's coming home, right? Right? They they, they waiting on their loved ones to come back. Right, right. What are you been home 14 days after doing a um 18 right. years? What are some of the biggest challenges you have ran into other than that Wi-Fi kicking your ass? <laughs> Man, you know, I think I think the biggest the biggest challenge is uh adjusting. You know, it's not a it, you know adjusting to all this new technology and all this stuff that's going on, man. But the biggest challenge is believe it or not, yourself. The biggest challenge is yourself. You know what I'm saying? I say that to say this because 
when you get out of here, you out, you free. This is what you, you know, you know, you know, you know, Ken folk, we got a saying, you know what I'm saying? This is what I waited 18 years for. And the biggest challenge is staying free, man. Staying out here, being mindful of what's going on, man. Changing your surroundings, changing people around you that don't want to do nothing. You know what I'm saying? So that's the biggest challenge yourself. It start within you. So you got to put everything that you learn down there into application once you get out of here. You got to have your mind set on what you want to do in life, man. You know, if you want to keep going backwards, then go backwards. But if you, if you want to have some of life, man, you can. All you got to do is push forward, man, and, and keep your mind set on what you're doing, man, and focus. Stay focused, man. That's it. Yeah, that's that, that's focused. good game. That's good game right there, Kent Folk. Go, go on, hit him with that number nine, Hollywood. So, man, you know, we spend a lot of time in the day room, right? We spend a lot of time in the day rooms, man. That's yeah. right. That's right. But we stay connected to certain. Right. We stay connected to uh, certain inmates, as they call them, prison. We we stay connected to those people. Why? Because right, they become brothers to us after so you know, uh, after so long. So give us some of the names of the people that you are still. Right, right. Give us some of the names of the people that you still connected to that you spend a lot of time in those day rooms with. Oh man, say it's uh, I'm talking about like so many Hollywood. It's so many the name, you hear me? Yeah. And, and like when I got out, it's like, you know, a lot of my partners from Dallas, you know, shout out to all my boys from Dallas, man, you know, and, and, and my partner from Longview, man, you know, I got them from everywhere, man. I met down there, man. I spent a lot of time with brothers down there, man. Brothers that ain't coming home, man. Shout out to man, hold y'all head, you know, uh it, it's just so many, man. I, I and you know, I'm plugged in. We plugged in, and, and 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 like yesterday, I talked to Zoe. You know, Zoe. Zoe was glad to see me, man. You know, that was another one of my my boys on that basketball court, man. You know, positive brother doing big things. You know, uh, it's so many, man. You know, what I'm saying, like literally, you know. And I'm plugging into the boys, you know. And I just sent a lot of them some pictures down there last night, man. I stayed up a little late doing that, man. You know, I got to keep my word, man. You know what I'm saying? Because you got a lot of brothers out there that when brothers getting out, man, they tell them they're going to reach back, but you know they don't. And, you know, to each his own, it's different, man. But, you know, I come from nothing. I come from nothing. So so th that's what I do, man. And that's why the streets love me so much. Because, you know, uh, when I got, the, you know, however you leave the streets, that's how they're going to embrace you when you come back. You know what I'm saying? That's how they're going to embrace you when you come back. Same way with prison. However you left prison, because you got to keep in mind, it's a lot of brothers getting out. They know everything about you. So you can't yeah. come out here lying. And you can't come out here what you was doing and all that. Baby. It's going to catch up with you. Just like when you're on the unit. Y'all know. Uh, you come from other units talking about you did this and did that. Now that rap sheet going to catch up with you, man. And that black and white tell you everything, man. You know what I'm saying? So you know you know what I'm talking about, Hollywood. Y'all huh? yeah. know what it is. You know what I'm saying? It's just so many real ones down there, man, in the struggle. Real time. Right. You know what I'm saying? And I thank God for making it through. All right. We're we going to do this here, man. At this particular time in the in the interview, we're going to open up the chat, man. You could call the show. If you want to If you want to talk to T-Roy, you could call the show. If you want to click the link, you could click on the link and come, come on. I'm putting the number in the chat. The number is... Um, I'm putting I'm putting the number in the chat. The number is 409-258-1650. Man, y'all know what we do, man. Call into the show, or you can click the link and come on to the show. If you got That's any right. questions you want to ask, um, if you want to holler at him. Also, he got a cash app. I know Hollywood say he's gonna hit you up, man. He got a cash app. His cash app is eight, is dollar sign. The number 18 followed by the word flat with two T's, right? Because this is what we do on this right. channel, man. I know it's some of y'all first time watching it, but over here, we bring the real authentic right, true man. brothers up. 
when they get home and you know we try to show them love and we get them guidance on their path man we done blessed a lot of people through this screen and what's going on hold, hold on man i gotta call them put that cash app up there when you get back oh they, they asking what's the cash yeah they calling man they calling they calling Yeah, I'm dropping the cash app in the um I drop I just dropped this cash app. It's dollar sign 18 flat. Flat has two T's on it. Dollar Hold sign on, man. 18 flat with two T's. Uh, Yo, 18. what's the word? Hey, you gotta turn down your background. Turn turn down what you're watching is on. Yeah, if, if, if it's on TV or if it's on the um, um, computer, turn it down, and then we can hear you. Hold on. For those like like CEO Hawker said, man. For those that don't know, man, this. Yeah, is yeah, yeah, we can hear you now. Talk to us. Who calling in? Zo, man. Just stop six zo, man. Stop six zo. Talk to us, man. Hey, hey, what's up, man? Glad to see my big bro home, man. T one. And tell him, tell him I'm a smash, and when I get him on that basketball court, I still got something. Hey, man. Hey. Now, now this is dope. This, hey, this, this, this is what I need you to help me out. I wasn't yeah, down there. You know, me and you was on Ferguson at one time. He said he <laughs> yeah. had seven championships, man. He said he done won seven Say. championships, man. Say, I, I thought it was more than that. Say, the man bad. Man. I, I was just telling my wife about the man. Say, I ain't quite on that court. Yeah. He had, he had yeah, wardens man. coming to the gym trying to cheat him. Yeah, he had, he had wardens coming to the gym to try to see him. They died. Nah, they trying to cheat him. Oh, trying they to want, cheat they, him. They set the whistle. Yeah, they want the whistle. They try to make sure he lose. Yeah. Yeah, yeah they, 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 they were for man. They, they try to take they me down. Ryan. So, so <laughs> out of all the cats, though, out of all the cats, you've been locked up with from Galveston, right? Yeah. You give him the best baller. Huh? He the best baller. Oh, yeah, big baller. For real, for real, yeah. <laughs> yeah, for real, for real. Yeah, say, he, he ain't putting no ice on that cake. He's quite a bit about that. Say, he wanted, say, yeah, I, yeah. I did like 28 years down there. He wanted the realest one. I, I, I didn't ran across. So, I, for real, for real. Right. You know what I'm saying? And I, I, I didn't put time you out of wood. Y'all want the real, real. You know what I'm saying? I ain't never yeah. changed up. Yeah. I told myself, my man, we're going nuts, man. We're going to stop it up with that. You can. Yeah. My, whole, my whole day, and we're going to come down there. Bless, bless the game. Hey, yeah, man. I'm a, he gonna he gonna have an art show, man. We gonna I'm gonna set him up an art show, man. He gonna have something real dope where we can get everybody to come out and support yeah. him, man. Yeah, I got I got a gallery down this way that's gonna present his art for him. And C Ward. As he was, what Mill Hill down there doing, Mr. Mill Hill? Oh, they say, man, that's my boy. I just sent him some pictures, man. You know, his wife, his wife, he, uh -huh. man, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, he's doing big things on the Polunsky unit over there in the, on the tank, man. So, shout out to Mill Hill, man. Shout out to Mill Hill, man. And shout yeah, out yeah. to my boy Chaz on the Kyle unit, man. With the uh, leadership program, man, doing that thing. Put your ones in there for that boy Chaz one time. All right, I'm yeah. going to tell him. I'm, I'm going to let him know. All right. All right. Y'all remember to go to that kid. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, you can tell him. Hey, yeah. Talk to hey, him. See what? See what? Hey. Boy, I told him no. Bodine passed away, man. Yeah. 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 Who that say, man, I'm proud of that say, man. Oh man, that's crazy. Oh. Yeah, yeah, he gonna, hey, he this gonna, is dope, man. No, no, he hear you, he hear you. He, hey, we we gonna tap back in with you, and I'm gonna let you know. I, I bet. Hey, man, it's old boy. You know these boys got love for you, man. We got drip in the building. Hold on, man. Yo, what's up, drip? Talk to us. Take yourself off mute. I got him. What up with you? What up with you, CEO? OG what? Hollywood. T Hello. Ward. What's up, Drill? What up, what up with you, man? I got a question for you. Uh okay. How was the trans 
how was the um, transition from you um, having to go do 18 years and actually leaving your family to getting out from doing 18 years and having to reconnect with your family? How did you go through that? I know you still got time to catch up with, but how was that feeling? Man, that that that, that man, it man, it was it was it was stressful, man. You know, my daughter was nine, my son was eleven. You know, uh, uh, my baby mama was pregnant with my third son, man. So it was hard for me, you know, because I left them out there. You know what I'm saying? And I had a lot of time to reflect on that, you know, and and. It was hard, man, but I knew I had to push forward, man, you know, and and, and we all know how, how how much it is to raise a child. Uh, but my transition, I, all I did was try to stay focused and, and I try to uh, build my relationship with my kids while I was down here, you know what I'm saying, which I did. Thank God for that. You know what I'm saying? And and I had them all come come up here and see me, right? And uh, and I, uh, I set them down and I told them, the reason why I was in prison, so they wouldn't have to hear from nobody else, you know. And I asked them to forgive me for what I did, you know, and they forgave me, you know. So, you know, I love them to death. Shout out to Tierra Thomas and Kanye, you know what I'm saying? So uh, I just love it, man. And then I stayed in touch, you know. They used to have a day with dads on, on the unit. Uh, uh, we got a chance to bond, so I took that time, you know, and that time was back to me that little hours to spend with spend with my son, you know. So, you know, we built a relationship, man. We got a great relationship with now. I got a great relationship with my kids. They always there to pick me up, and that's a blessing from God, man. That's just a blessing. They was out there and made the transition, man. Not. I'm here. I just had the love on them, man. I'm loving on them right now, man. My grandkids. I'm just loving this, man. You know what I'm saying? It's the ultimate feeling, man. So, you know, okay. I'm just trying to stay focused right now, you know? Right. I got one more question for you, man. Uh, Like, during okay, the 18 sure. years, the beginning, the beginning, the middle, or the end, was it, at any point, did you have any blame issues, or did you take sole custody of your ex? Well, man, I, 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 took, I took custody of my exes, man, which is, which is only right, you know what I mean? Because I can't blame nobody but myself. I put myself in prison, you know what I'm saying? So, therefore, I got to take my lick, you know what I'm saying? Just like I took my lick and did my 18 flat, I took my lick and accepted the fact that, you know, I left my family out there, you know what I'm saying? I left them. And I left my children, I left everybody out there, my mama, my sisters, my, my brother, everybody. Everybody. I left everybody out there, man. So, and, and, and I thank God for them. For being there for me, my mama traveling up and down that highway, you know, with her health bad. So, you know, I love you, mama. You know, I know you watching this right now. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. All right, well, man. It's just been a pleasure. I appreciate man. you, man. And I appreciate you, CEO and OG Hollywood, for pulling me up. Hey, man. hey, hey, appreciate you, Drip, y'all. man. For y'all, for y'all that don't know, man, that's the homie man, Drip. That's, that's out yeah, of homie. Oklahoma, yeah. man. OKC in the building, man. Appreciate you, homie. Salute. All right, how about you? Y'all remember to do the say, like I said, man. This is you know, this is what being, this is what being CEO how to do when you come here, man. Uh we do this right here, man. Right. They asked him, they asked him what he was locked up for. He was locked up for a robbery. Yeah, he went he, he went to he got 35 years for a robbery case for those that's in the chat asking. Yeah, he got he got he got 35 years for for a robbery. Hey, what's today's date, Hollywood? I don't keep up with days. <laughs> you, don't, you don't keep up with days. Now nah, look look up the date. Tell me what's today's date. The 28, man. March 28th? Yeah. So what's tomorrow? March what? What the fuck you mean what's tomorrow? It's the 29th. Yeah, nigga, March 29th. You got out 10 years ago on March 29th. <laughs> you talking about? I, just, I just told y'all don't keep up with this. Nigga. You, you make your 10 year anniversary tomorrow. Nigga, hell is you talking about? Did you, did you hear what I just said? Yeah, you made your 10 year anniversary. Can you still do them 100 push ups? Yeah, yeah. I, I can. can. Yeah, I, I can. 
all them hundred push-ups. I'm one of the ones that can. I can. Okay. So else. tomorrow we gonna go live and have a hundred push-up challenge. You did ten years free. Can you still do them hundred push-ups? Like I said, now now that I'm free, I probably can do more than hundred because the food doesn't change. The food changed. So. We ain't trying to get in that challenge. I'm letting your ass know right now. You I'm back. Ready. I'm back. Hey, hold on. Hey, turn down, turn down the TV or the or the, or the computer that you're watching is on. Hello? Hey, 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 Tom. All right. Can, Can you hear me? All right, hold hey. on. You, you tap, you tap in. Talk to us. Yeah, I can hear you. All right. I'm Reginae, and I want to yeah. say a prayer for my You want to say a prayer? Okay, y'all. This is Reginae. This is this is this is Thomas niece, and she and she want to say a quick prayer for him. Let's pray, y'all. Our Father, we thank you for the divine protection you have this world upon our beloved uncle. May your guiding light continue to surround him. Keep keeping him safe and secure in your loving embrace. Amen. Amen. Can, can Amen. You hear me? Amen. Thank you, niece. Yeah, I can hear her, man. She sound great, man. She sound like she's been groomed by the best. <laughs> yeah. Definitely. So, so let me ask you, I, I got a question, right? Definitely, man. Hello? She's anointed. I Come on, Hollywood. I see you wearing the fold nine hat, right? And CEO oh, Hockley. Oh, yeah, man. CEO Hockley is the owner of the uh, G Count Apparel, which produced fold nine product, right? Right, right. What was your first right. thought process? What was your first thought, uh, thought process when you entered that store versus when you seen him when you left? How did that make you feel to come back to see how established he was? Well, well, well. Uh, you know, me and Kenfolk, we stayed plugged throughout my 18 years of incarceration, man. Shout out to Kenfolk, man. I got to say, man, he sent me so many books. You know, he kept he he kept me, you know, getting my mind right. You know, sending me all types of entrepreneurial books, all types of books. You know what I'm saying? To, you know, to just you know, food for thought, man. You know, want to see you do good, man. You know what I'm saying? And I'm I'm proud of him. I'm proud of him. And what he have done for G County, man, as a whole. You know, if you look at this brand, everybody don't understand this brand. I'm a product of G County. He gave everybody an identity. You see what I'm saying? And a lot of people don't know that. You know what I'm saying? So this 409 product means something to me because I'm a product of G County, born and raised. You know what I'm saying? That's like when you walk around with a a Los Angeles Laker hat on. You proud to have that LA on your hat because you from Los Angeles yeah. or whatever your team may be. You feel what I'm saying, Hollywood? Yeah. And that's what this G County thing represents, man. Pretty nice, man. And I shout out to Ken folk, man. You know, showing nothing but love. Oh, oh, man. Oh, no, 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 man. Been there from day one. Hey, yeah, hey, man. I got, I, I got a call for you. For the brothers. Can you hear me? Yes, sir. Hold on. Yeah. Talk to him. Talk to him. You live with T. Ward. Talk to it. Oh, I'm live with Wiggles. Well, that's a Wiggles. Who's T. Ward? That's a Wiggles. That, that's Wiggles? What's up? Who Wiggles, this? Yeah. This, this he little, he this little this dude. He think he's had a big who? pussy. Huh? In America. He Who said, is this? Hey, that, hold on. Hold on real quick. That's what? little Devin. Cherie Holmes, son. Hey, look, look, I can tell him, tell him. What's up, man? I remember way back when yeah, I was what's little, up, man? Was little, uh, kids. Who phone was that ringing? No, that's uh -huh. mine. Hey, 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 T. Ward. Yeah, I can hear you. Hey, he say, do that's you remember mine. that? He say, oh. do you remember that time people mistake, mistook you for Steve Francis? And you, you acted like you were Steve Francis. Hey.
Yeah, you must got a delay. Can you hear me? Do I remember what? Do 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 you remember Kappa 1999 when people were oh, mistaking yeah. you for Steve Francis and you were acting like yeah, you were yeah, Steve yeah, Francis? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Steve Francis, huh? Yeah. <laughs> what? Boy, they got some memories, don't they, man? Yeah, they, they got they got some memories. <laughs> hey, hey, D, I'm I'm gonna hit you right back. Yeah. That's a good look, man. Me? Yeah, we can hear you. We most definitely can hear you, man. Uh oh. We spending in time, man. We spending in time. Hello. Talk to me. Who I got on the line? Hello. Talk to me. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you now. Talk to me. You live on the yeah, show. Yeah, man, this big man, man. I'm trying to tap in with the boy T. Wiggle, man. Tell him he need to reach out, touch somebody, and get at me, man. Hey, I'm finna, I'm finna send him your number. He just, the, you know, the internet kicking his ass right now. He getting karate chopped by that Wi-Fi at the moment. Yeah, I see, I see. But that was my, that was my day one, a one, man. I need him to tap in. I'm out of town, out of state. But I've been trying to tap in, but ain't nobody gave him my credentials, so I need y'all to do that. All right. Well, look, when, when he come back on, I'm going to call you right back, and I'm going to text him your number. Come on, big man. You know I got you. Homie, how you been doing? Yeah, you man. good? Man, I'm out of state, man. I'm in Arizona getting it, man. Oh, wait, wait, wait. He back. He back. Hold on. Look, look I'm out. back, man. I, I, I don't know what's going on with these. Hey, man. Not uh, we, we, listen, we know, but listen, I got somebody on the Welcome line the that want to holler at you. Huh? I got somebody on the line that want to holler at you. Can you hear me? Talk to me. Y'all don't talk to him, big man. Yeah. Hey, look how I see Wiggle. Say, I know it been a minute, baby. What's but up, up say, I need you to give with somebody to get, get my number. I need you to bark at me, mate. Tell him who you is. He say, who is it? This big man. Hey, boy. What's up? <laughs> What's going on, man? Well, he I ain't say, seen you yet, nigga. He say he ain't seen you Why yet. Yeah. Seen you yet. He, he in Arizona. Yeah, tell him I'm, as soon as I tap in, he know what it is as soon as I try to die. I just ain't in the state at the moment. All right. Yeah, he said right. he said he said he said that's a bit. It's a little lag in it. He said that's a bit though, but I'm finna text him your number now so y'all can connect. All right, all right. All right, boy. Take care of yourself, man. Hey man, and, and, and y'all don't forget that cash out, man. 18 dollar sign 18 flat, man. There it is right there. Hold that's on, right. wait, that they put that up. OG Hollywood and son a hundred dollars, man. Hollywood. Oh, appreciate it, Hollywood. It's all appreciate good. Appreciate Hollywood. That's what we do. It's all good, man. That's what we do, man. Y'all remember, man. Real yeah. life people, I'm real good. life stories, man. Y'all can't get no get that nowhere else but here at the Ferguson Chronicle, man. Where we take care of our own, man. That's what it's about, man. Th that's right. Care. You take care of the people that you believe in. And that's real. I can't put it no other way. We take care of our own here at the Ferguson Chronicle, man. We don't wait on nobody. You sure can't? And that's real. And that's real. Yeah, man. T Ward Cash out with 18 man. flat, man. Just with just, two just T's. Take care with that, man. Y'all make sure y'all, y'all, y'all bless the homie game, man. He just came home. Y'all send him some, send him some encouraging notes. Tell him it's all good, man. Listen, because the boy is finna be rolling. Say, <laughs> the boy is finna be rolling, man. He back and that's, he's back in charge, man. Right. Talk to him, T Wizzle. Yeah, I'm back, man. It's a lot. I got I got I got a bunch of projects in the work already, man. So I'm busy already, man. Kim folk got me busy, man. Everybody got me busy, man. So man, y'all be looking forward to uh you know, uh, some customization coming, man, and a bunch of things. I got an art show coming up, an art show welcome home party, man. So it's going to be a lot of things going on. Shout out to Charles Lacey, man. Send me 300, man. Shout out to that boy, man. 
Shout out to Charles, man. Boy, showing up, man. Much love, man, to my boy, man. Big man. It's real. Yeah, but I got a lot of projects going on. Y'all stay tuned, man. I appreciate all y'all support, man. Everybody pouring in and handling in, man. Everybody that supported me throughout my journey. First of all, man, God bless y'all, man. And if you got a loved one down there, man, y'all reach out to your loved one because them boys dying down there, man. Them boys dying down there, man, by the wayside. So y'all y'all reach out to your loved ones, man, and show them some love, man. I know you, man, it's, it, just tell them you love them, man. It, it's something. Reach out to them and tell them you love them, man, because it's hard down there. It really is, man. Reach out hey. to the people and tell them you love them, man. Hey, we got we got we got somebody in the chat say, "Let us see some artwork." Some artwork? Yeah, they I want they want to see some George of your artwork. Right there, man. That's that's the George Floyd right there, man. You looking at it? You looking at it, man? That's some of my artwork right there, man. You know what I'm saying? So you know. Oh, we can also, I got you know what, other you, you know what, Ken Folk, we can also pull up his Instagram, man. He got an Instagram. What's the name of that Instagram? That's right. Y'all can go check me out on War Nation Gallery on Instagram, man. And you can pull up all that art over there, man. A bunch of stuff see, over there, man. We can pull it up now on the screen while you're here. All right. Yeah, pull it up. War Nation Gallery, man. Boy Nation Gallery, man. That's what it is, man. I'm working, man. And for those that's in there, man, y'all remember to hit that, hit that like button, man. Hit that there like button. Man. man. That's Megan the Stallion. That's Megan the Stallion. You looking at DMX, them pencil drawings right there, man. That's some of my pencil drawings, man. You know what I'm saying? You scroll down, man. Yeah. That's DMX, Megan the Stallion, man. Pictures of Megan, you know what I'm saying? That's just some of my artwork. That's the old... Chevy uh 72 C10 that I painted for my micro computer teacher right there, man. Y'all looking at you know what I'm saying? Mr. Tilly, shout out to Mr. Tilly, man. That's my grandmother. I love her to death. That's GG right there, man. Gangster Granny, man. Yes, ma'am. That's it. That's my little granddaughter right there, Samira. That y'all looking at, man. You know, that's her. Yeah. Yeah, that's all painting. All that's just some of my abstract art right there. I know y'all love that, man. For the wall, man. Do all kinds of paintings, man. Different stuff. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's the black mumba. Y'all know who that is with the snake in his hand. That's a pencil drawing, man. That won the art contest on the wind unit, man. I gave that to my son, my youngest son. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about, man. That's my boy Faze on, man. I did a painting of him too, man. There it is right there. You seen the picture, now you see him, man. Go back to that picture again, Hollywood. Yeah, that's him right there. Yeah, that's the picture I did. Scroll back on over. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Yeah, man. So, you know, I'm working, man. I'm working. This is what I do, man. Holla at me. That's old thought, man. That's old thought I did for my grandson, man. Shout out to King and Legend, man. And Ty, Samira, shout out to all my grandkids, man, out there, man. If y'all watching, y'all better be y'all little ass sleep. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I just, I just, yeah, man. I just Thank you for scrolling through that, man. It just, yeah. That's my mom right there, man. That's my mom. Shout out to Eula. I know you watching, girl. Shout out. This, shout out, man. That's what it is, is, man. That's what we do right there. Oh, hold on, hold on. Hold up. I'm, I'm connecting the phone. Can you hear me? Hello? All right. You live on the channel. Talk to us. Hey, how's it going? So uh, I just want to give a shout out, uh, first of all, to OG Hollywood. Like OG Hollywood always says, this is real life stories. Nothing's never scripted. I want to uh, shout out OG yeah. Hollywood. Ten years ago, tomorrow will be your 10th anniversary of freedom after serving 25 right. years right. in the Texas Department of Criminal Justice on a life 
seconds. Man. We are so proud of you and all your accomplishments. For those man. that for those that don't know, that, man. That's uh, right. For those that don't know, I recognize that voice anywhere, man. That's my uh, lovely wife, man, of, of 30 something years, man. She know what it feel like to support somebody that's been locked up, man. Uh, without her, I wouldn't be here, man, cause she fought the whole state to get me free, man. Uh, many men are not in my position after being given a life sentence, man. And uh, yeah, tomorrow will be 10 years that I've been free, man, but I couldn't have did none of that without the person uh voice that just was uh, heard on the screen man like i said i recognize that voice anywhere uh he fought so hard to get me free and now that i'm here man so i understand it what if what what it is to help another brother that's coming home to the struggle man that's why this channel was created by me and the one and only ceo hockley man to give people that are coming home back into society man a voice man that is what it's about man and that's what we're doing today, man. And that's why I say, for those that tune in, man, real live people, real live stories, man, y'all hit that like button. That's the way you make the channel advance, man. That's the way you make the channel advance. It's not about giving me or CEO Hockley nothing in life because we've been here, we've been putting the work in, and as you can see, we're able to give back to people that's coming home to society, man, and the channel is only going to get bigger, man. That's what we do, man. And that's why we got T. Ward here and bringing his talent to life. Like I told y'all, we not only talk about it, we be about it. So shout out to my wife, man, for that call in, man. For those that's trying to figure out who that is. Like I said, I recognize that voice anywhere, man. 33 years, man, it's still going, man. You muted, man. We can't hear you. You muted. That's you right, muted. That's right, man. For sure. Yeah, y'all know I fuck up the audio. If you don't know, I'm CEO. Fuck up the audio too. But listen, Marcus Freeman shouted you out hey, on he Instagram. Did, he said, "What's up?" Yeah, what's up? And we froze in time again, or what? <laughs> hey, tell Marcus I say, "What's up, man?" Oh, Marcus Freeman, man. Yeah, you know yeah, yeah. He, 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 he shouted you out on Instagram. I'm outside, man. I ain't I'm, no here. I'm on the ground, y'all. Fact. It's going to go down, man. We're going to help these brothers that's coming home, man. Right. So, real right, quick, before we get out of here, up, do, do, do anybody tell else have any questions? Do anybody what's else up? have any questions for T Ward? Um, the cash out, we gonna drop. Well, wait, I did see one. The prince got a question for you. Do you have any tattoos? T Ward, can you hear us? Any questions, man? I'm ready, man. Do 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 you have any tattoos? That's what they ask. I don't, I don't think he is, OG. No, nah, you, know, you know how that go, man. It's a process, man, but we're going to trust it, though. It's a process, but we're well, going to Well, do you got any tattoos? Nigga, what is you talking about? Do <laughs> I got I got a bunch of tattoos. Fuck you mean. <laughs> That's all. Out, out of 20, 25 years, you can tattoo two things. You can tattoo on a nigga ass or tattoo on your body. And like, I, hold on, man. Hold on, on a nigga. I'm talking, no, no, I'm talking about me. I'm talking about, I'm talking no, no, about kidding, man. You, 25 years, you can't tell you on the nigga ass. No, I'm talking about kicking the nigga ass. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Don't play no games, no, nigga. Man, no diddy, man. No diddy, man. God damn. No, no diddy, I'm, man. I'm, Shit. I'm talking about kicking and putting some tattoos on the nigga ass. Kicking the nigga ass. Yeah, man, goddamn, no diddy, man. No, no, no diddy, man. Goddamn, no diddy, man. like that. Yeah, no, no, no diddy. Hold, hold on, hold on. Yo, you back? Can you hear us? I'm back, man. Yeah. All yeah, right. Yeah, if yeah. people want to know, do you have any tattoos? Yeah, I'm back, man. I'm back, man. 
Do you have any tattoos? Do you have any brandings other than the hat you wearing, the 409? Do I have any tattoos? That's what the people want to know. Oh, me? Yeah, we. I mean, that's what the people ask it, man. Yeah, I got tattoos. I got one right there, my, my beloved 80 that passed, man. Dorothy? Yeah, I got tattoos, man. I got oh, tattoos, wait, wait, man. Wait, wait, I got, wait, I got wait, them just I, like I every other prisoner, wrong. man. I got them. I asked I got the them all wrong. over they there, man. Dude. I ain't gonna get naked on camera, though, man. I might get no, in trouble. No, hey, 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 <laughs> hey, 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 I got it. You can't get naked. You can't get naked on here. That uh, hey, I, hey, hey, we, we we can't let you get naked. Now nah. you you ain't on the rig yard. Yeah, man. You, man look, look. Read hey, hey T Ward, can you hear me? Yeah, I I I ain't man. All right, listen. They asked, do you do tattoos? Not do you have tattoos? Do you know how to do them? <laughs> Shout out to CEO Hockey, man. Go fuck you laughing at Hollywood. <laughs> Not only do he fuck up the radio, he fuck up the grammar. <laughs> man. Oh, what, man. What, what you laughing at, my nigga? Y'all put a one in the chat for that. <laughs> what? What you mean? All right, I'm finna send you a paragraph to read in front of the class. Let, uh, hey, I'm finna, I'm finna send you a paragraph and send you a read in front of the class. Say, man, the man said, do you have any tattoos? It clearly stated, do he do tattoos? <laughs> Somebody put a one in there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you find that funny, huh? Yeah, you find that funny, yeah. Everybody, everybody that put a one in the chat getting blocked. Block the man, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> block everybody in there. Whoever put a one in there, block them. <laughs> well, yeah, God, God told me to ask him, do we have tattoos? Hell is you talking about? Man, 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 it's all good. Hey, you. hey, can you hear me? Can folk, they want to know, do you do tattoos? Oh, no, man, but that might be in the working too, man, because everybody is pushing me to do tattoos, man. So, you know. I might just pick the gun up, you know, you know, the tattoo gun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, I saw yeah, I, the tattoo gun. I certainly hope you don't pick that other gun up, cause guess what? Man, now, nah, man, you don't, you that don't, other gun. You don't, say that other. You that's why we talk about eighteen flat now. That's why I said you only get one shot over here. Ain't no motherfucker getting out, coming back, trying to get the money all over again. <laughs> <laughs> now, 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 man. <laughs> Shout out to you all, man. Real life people real life stories, man. Y'all can't get this shit nowhere else but at the Ferguson Chronicle, man. Y'all remember hit that like button, man. Hit that like button. Yeah. Play. Cause like I said, yeah. like I said, this shit is only gonna go up. Ain't no going down, man. We in here to stay, man. Ain't no going I down. Like CEO Hawker said months ago, man, the lions are in the building, man. And we welcome another lion home, man. That motherfucker gonna roar loud in the next couple of months, man. It's gonna That's, roar, that's man. right. That's right. So we so before we get out of here. Right. So 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 before we get out of here, man, we gotta do like we do all always, man. We we're we gonna let you close the show on whatever note you wanna close it on. Shout out whoever you wanna shout out, right? And just let the people know where they can find you. I'm going to drop your um link to your Instagram in the chat. But um you can close the show on whatever note you want to close it on. Yeah, man. I'm going to close on this note right here, man. I want to say, uh, first of all, I get, I get the glory to God, man, for being able to come home after 18 flat in my right mind and, uh you know, uh, in my health, you know, and, and, and I encourage all you brothers and all you sisters out there, you queens and kings, man, to reach one and teach one, you know, step up, you know, or, or man up, man up out here, man, man up, man. You know what I'm saying? It's time for us to come together, come together, man, and put something beautiful together, you know, 
And I want to shout this out to, to all the people watching that. Just know that failure is never final. So you got to keep pushing, man. It's going to be some days you don't want to get up and go to work. It's going to be some days you want to stay on the couch. It's going to be some days that you just say, fuck it. It's going to be some days, but you got to grind, man. And I want everybody to start working out. Physical fit, man. Everybody start doing some jumping jacks or something, man. Something, man. Do some walk around the block. Walk around the house, man. Do something, man. Enjoy your life, man. There's too many people dying, man, too soon. You know what I'm saying? We we got we got more funerals than graduations nowadays, man. And that's sad, man. But I just want to thank everybody that supported me throughout my incarceration. My mom, my 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 my, my, my sisters, my family, Maisha, Crystal. Lil Thomas, Tierra, Kanye, everybody, man. All my all my kids, grandkids, all of all my partners, man. Rudy, my boy Rudy, man. Shout out to my boy Rudy, man, down there. Lobo Nation. Olivia, you know, everybody. Mark Clark, man, you know. All my partners, man. That, that uh, everybody, man. Crunchy. Everybody, big heavy, you know what I'm saying? Everybody that show love and came through, man. For me, man, Dietrich, I got a shout out to my boy Dietrich, man, been real, kept it real while I was on lock, man. Clint Bell there, man, I can't forget you, boy. I can't forget, man, there's so many of y'all, man. I don't want, and that's why I'm saying everybody, you know what I'm saying? Because I love everybody, man, for real. It's love, man, let's get some money, man. Let's start some businesses, man. Let's help each other grow. Let's help each other evolve, man. Let's do this, it's time, man. We've been struggling too long, it's our time, man. Black folks time man so let's go man it's go time man peace out man I, and you know shout out to my man i can't forget hockley man hollywood i can't forget y'all what y'all doing man and it, it's just a beautiful thing man what y'all doing for these brothers coming out of prison man we moving man we moving man it's moving man it's gonna keep on moving man but it's much love man we're gonna close this show out man sorry for the technical difficulties man but we'll do this again the right way man so it's all good, man. Much love, man, from T-Ward. Peace out, man. Love y'all, man. And you know what I'm saying? You got to keep them first, man. That's what it is. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, whatever your religion is, man, put God first, man. You know what I'm saying? Ground yourself. Ground yourself, man. You know what I'm saying? A radio ain't going to work without a ground wire. You know what I'm saying? A battery ain't going to work without a ground wire. You know what I'm saying? Electricity ain't going to work without a ground wire. So ground yourself, man, and do good, man, and help somebody else do good. Live to give, man. Peace out. T Ward, baby. All right. Salute, man. There you have it, OG Hollywood, man. T Ward say failure is never final. I love, I love that phrase, live to give. That I, we, might have, I might have to put that on the shirt. Failure is never final. We'll be in, we'll be available on the G County website, man. <laughs> y'all look that up on the G County website for anybody that want to purchase that, man. Y'all can send y'all information to CEO Hawker, man. You know he can make that happen, man. And that's real. That them was real Jews right there. Failure is never final. Look for that on the shirt, man. And press that at G County Apparel, man. And that's for real. Like I said, man, uh, live to give. Live to give. And that's what we do here, man. We've been living, so we giving. Facts. And, 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 and that's what you do, man. You know, and like I said, for those that's just tapping in, the way you make anything grow is you have to pass it on, man. So anybody that just watched this tonight, man, that witness. A man that's being free and that's being shown love from a substantial amount of people, share that, man. And if you got a loved one that's just not getting out, man, that want to tell his story, this is the people's channel, man. This is the people's channel, man. We love to give. Simple as that, man. Right. Yeah, you on point, man. I'm going to do my closing, man. It's like this here. Hold on. Yo, 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 this is what it is, man. It's your boy, CEO Hockley, man. I appreciate y'all tuning in, man. Real quick, man, I want to shout out to all the viewers from Texas Prison Stories. Yeah, over there with the homie Tim Snow. He shared out our video tonight, man. We appreciate that. We want to give him love to his audience, right, that is watching. 
we want to thank y'all and we appreciate y'all not only for supporting tim but also supporting us and him bringing us over to his viewers man we definitely appreciate that love to my kinfolk t ward man to my family ain't you the yo-yo to his kids everybody that's still watching y'all already know man the journey has just started man you know and we off to a good start right and we want to make sure that it stay good man we want to make sure that we um do our part right to make sure that the ship sail, man. A man is back home, and like I always say, it's a blessing for a child to give birth to a son, because at some point that son gotta lead. And Thomas is back to lead. I'm here to help him. Y'all here to help him. Y'all know he got the utmost support, support coming from the community. So y'all keep supporting him. Y'all gonna see more of him on the channel. Y'all gonna see more things that we do with him, man, because he's right here with us, and we gonna make sure that his story. It's just like my story, right? That it keep growing, that it keep evolving, and that whole prison street chapter is closed, man. I want to thank y'all for tuning in. We do this every Wednesday right here. Me and OG Hollywood bring y'all real life stories from real life people, man. Actual, factual, truth. Actual, factual, realness. You're going to get technical difficulties. You're going to get some arguing. You're going to get some cussing. You're going to get all that, man. It's the virtual day room that we come in. And we share and we group together, man. And um, just take care of business, man. Each one teach one, like the homie was saying. And again, shout out for Tim for bringing us into his network. Shout out to um, Tim for um, giving us this exposure, man. And we appreciate it, man. On that note, it's your boy, CEO Hockley. I'm out. You can catch me in the mornings on CEO Hockley on YouTube or Facebook, man. I'm out of here. It's on you, OG. Happy 10 years, man. Salute. Once again, real life people, real life stories, man. And nothing is ever scripted here at the Ferguson Chronicle, man. Uh, started this channel a couple of years ago, man, with the hopes of it becoming what it is now. And as we evolve, man, people are coming here giving their stories, man. Why? Not to glorify prison. So people, but what they come here to do is, man, is to make people understand that you don't have to go to prison, man. You don't have to go to prison, man. And the only way to break that cycle, man, is to understand your position in life. God gave you a gift and that's freedom. Don't give it away. And the only way you don't give it away is to educate yourself, man. Educate yourself on how to stand free. Prepare yourself and understand so you can be able to get the proper tools to be able to take care of the people around you, man. Like T. War said, living is giving. And that's what we do at the Ferguson Chronicle, man. We make a way for the people that what they didn't think it was a way. And tonight, it was no different. Y'all remember, man, go hit that cash out, man. Dollar time, 18 flat. Because I guarantee you, months from now, this transformation won't be the same tonight. He will not have technical, uh, technical difficulties online. And his name is on the way to becoming a household name. You know why? Because he's willing to put the work in and he got people behind him, the right people. So like I said, until next Wednesday, until next Wednesday, man, and my slogan is this, stay up. What I mean by that is stay up in your life and remember, Freedom is the most priceless thing in the world. Don't give it away. Shout out to Tim Snow and the Texas uh, Prison Stories, man, for allowing us to grade the screen of his channel, man. Because in this network, it's exposure is what gets you to the next level. And without him tonight, that wouldn't have been possible, man. So we appreciate you, man, for sharing your platform with us, man. Until next time, salute. Yo, this your boy CEO Hockley. Real quick, man, today's episode is being sponsored by OGHollywoodSpeaks.com. Yes, that's right. OGHollywoodSpeaks.com has this fly gear, man. Savage Drive, man. He has his very fly gear, man. He's a former prisoner that changed his life, did 25 years after receiving a life sentence, got home, and he been home 10 years, man. He's been out. He's been free 10 years. He has his own clothing line called Savage Drive. It represents the kind of drive you need to have to make it to the top, the kind of drive you need to have to stay free. 
right? And as we talk about this prison topic, I want to highlight and um, show and give respects to those that have been to prison and that are doing the right things in today's society. Everybody go to OGHollywoodSpeaks.com and get that savage drive. If you got the drive it takes to be successful, man, support him. Also, you can follow him on YouTube. You can follow him on all social medias at OGHollywoodSpeaks.com. We appreciate the support here at CEO Talk, and we also like to support other black people doing something positive, man. Savage drive. That is the clothing line. Get yours today. So